Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working in module 4 on lesson number 33, the last lesson of this module. In lesson number 33 we are creating story contexts for numerical expressions and tape diagrams and we are solving word problems. So I want to try to do one of each on tonight's homework. Let's take a look at problem number one. Problem number one, one of my favorite kinds of story problems, a story problem that involves food. Let's do our read, draw, and write strategy. Anouk has four and seventy-five hundredths pounds of meat. He uses a quarter pound of meat to make one hamburger. So in our first question in A, how many hamburgers can Anouk make with the meat that she has? All right, let's see. So we start with, we've got a huge pile of meat. How much? 4.75 pounds. And we are going to divide that into, let's see, quarter pounders. Oh, quarter pounders, right? So we're going to divide that into quarter pound sections. And the question is, how many of these are we going to be able to get? So basically, it's how many quarter pounders fit into 4.75. Now, we might be able to do this with mental math. Um, we might be able to do this as fractions or as decimals. We might be able to do the long decimal division. I'm going to try a, a strategy that we used during this module to see if that will work for me. So I remember that division is exactly the same as fractions, right? And if I were going to do this, uh, this fractional uh, division, I would really love it if my denominator had a whole number in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 100. That's why I drew those little arrows to make this into 475 divided by 25, right? Same problem, right? We've just taken both the, um, the divisor right here and the dividend, and we've multiplied them by 100 so that we have a simpler problem. Now, we can go ahead and do that on the side. 25 divided by, I'm sorry, 475 divided by 25. I think I can make 1. 10, let's see, it's 250. That leaves us with 220. Convert those to 1s, and let's see how many of those are. Let's see, we'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, I think we make 9. 9, 5, 4, 22. Yep, that's exactly 19 burgers. So I can do it that way. Right? She can make 19 hamburgers. All right, and that's our right strategy. No, we didn't really draw in this case because we didn't make a drawing. Now, we could have done that. We could have said, look, how many copies of 25? We could have made a little tape diagram and said, hey, guess what? Each of these is a quarter pounder. How many of those can I fit in something that is 4.75 long? Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right, in the end, we could fit 19 quarter pounders into 4.75 pounds of meat. What I really want to look at, though, is number two, is part B. Sometimes a nuke makes sliders. Each slider is half as much meat as used for a regular hamburger. How many sliders could a nuke make with the 4.75 pounds? So let me think about this, because there's one part of this, which is I could figure out, okay, 0 0.25 pounds is what a, a quarter pounder is, right? And a slider is half as much, so we could divide this by two, and blah, blah, blah. But I'm thinking there's an easier way, right? If sliders are use half as much meat, then we could make twice as many sliders, right? Basically, we're saying whatever amount of we needed for each one of the hamburgers, that would make one hamburger, or it would make two sliders. So why don't we just say it's this, right? 19 times 2, 38. Right? Half as much meat makes twice as many burgers. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and write it. She can make 38 sliders. Because our reasoning here is solid, right? We're using half as much meat per burger, and that means we can make twice as many sliders as we can make hamburgers. I think we're done here. Ha! All right, let's take a look at problem number four. Cre create a story context for the following expressions. Oh, boy, what a mess. All right, let's see. Um, what do we have going on here? So it looks like first we have subtraction going on. So I'm going to write a little, I'm going to write a little note. First we have subtraction going on. Subtraction, right? And then, let's see, so once we've done the subtraction, which we do first because it shows us with our parentheses, then we do division. So step two is division. Hmm. Okay, so we have to come up with a problem where we start by subtracting these two numbers, and then what we take what's left over of that, and we do division. All right, well, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and switch to a text tool here and sort of type mine out. Let's see. Um, 
what should we do? Well, these are kind of fractions. I think we're going to use paint as my example. Um, the crew started the day with five and one, whoops, five and one fourth gallons of paint. They used up two and one eighth gallons during the day. Oops, during the day. The next day, they used the remaining paint to cover four walls. How much paint was used on each wall? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There's my, there's my question, let's see if that fits. The crew started the day with five and one fourth gallons of paint. Okay, there's the five and one fourth that they started with. They used up two and one eighth gallons during the day. Okay, so there's my subtraction. So they started with this, they used up this, and so this expression right here, if we figured that out, we would know how many gallons of paint they had at the end of the day. The next day, they used the remaining paint, okay, they used that amount, to cover four walls. There's your four walls. How much paint was used on each wall? And you know the only problem I see with this problem? I didn't have a question at the bottom, I had a period. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that, right? We've got a story problem that fits that those expressions, and we could challenge uh, one of our classmates to go ahead and actually do the math to figure that out, and they'd be able to answer our question. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for this, the final uh, lesson in module number four. Take care. I'll see you again in the next module. Bye-bye.